Hi right, everybody, welcome back to Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Today we're looking for our second gym badge. I don't know if we're going to get it, but hopefully we can make it to town. Uh, we're going north, I remember talking about that. Bug Catcher was just kind of running back and forth, so... Came out of the world's smallest cave. I'm pretty sure that cave was small. Let's go up here and get to it. Oh, I didn't have to fight him. Say, what's your opinion on bug Pokemon? Well, I have a Krikatoon. That doesn't really tell you my opinion on bug Pokemon, but I have one. Must mean I'm a bug Pokemon supporter, I guess. If I didn't like one, if I didn't like them at all, why would I have one in my party? All right, so I have Magikarp out. Well, he needs to level up anyway, right? Daggett's like half dead. It's fine. We can give him like a, a potion. <laughs> I, ha I have like 20 something of them probably. I'm probably not even gonna use that many regular potions. So we got struggle bug as long as Daggett doesn't die. Good job, Daggett not dying. Special attack fell. I don't think that really matters for Daggett right now. What do we got in the bag? We're looking for potions. Oh, I only have 11. I have half the potions that I thought I did. That's not what I wanted to do. That wasn't what I wanted to do at all. Sorry, Daggett's still fine. We waste a turn. Because I hit the stick down by accident. Can we do it again? Here we go. Use this item. Daggett. Alright, there we go. Thankfully, it wasn't a third times the charm kind of deal. That would have sucked. That already sucked, so. <laughs> All right, we've, we've gone like three turns. Daggett has not attacked once. No, we don't want to go into the bag again. Rollout? Should I do ro rollout? Super? Fuck it, we'll do rollout. Two rollouts? This thing's dead probably, right? At least we're finally attacking. At least we finally got some damage on the board. Problem. Oh, he voided the. Oh, okay. This this is going. Daggett, you're losing points. This is this is negative five for Daggett at this point. I think Daggett is the only Pokemon who has been losing points at this point. That's a negative five for Daggett. Daggett missed rollout. I'll give you a plus one back for the crit. Now I'll give you plus two. We'll give you plus two. He's negative three overall for this fight, but he did crit after. No, I don't want to switch Pokemon. We'll keep, we'll keep Daggett out. He's rolling out. We got Daggett in a rollout sequence here, so we might as well keep him going, right? Damn. I was hoping for a one hit, but, you know, you can't win them all. Most of the time I hope for a one hit, I don't get a one hit. That's just life. My speed's down. That sucks. Wurmple's faster than me now. Perfect. Daggett's taking a beating, but he's kind of tanky. He's a pretty rotund beaver-like creature, so got a little tank to him, I guess. All right, well, it took an hour, but we defeated Brandon. I'm not going to be able to explain the charms of bug Pokemon this way. I didn't even show him my cricket soon. Oh, well. He wouldn't have cared anyway. Bug Pokemon grow quickly, and they do, they do stuff like poison and paralyze, and they're cute and cool. You gotta believe me, they're good. I don't think they're very good. That's probably like one of the worst types in the game. Anyway, since we're trying to level up Daggett and Magikarp, let's swap Daggett up here since we have a double battle coming up, it looks like. Let's heal Daggett before we get into an infinite loop of trying to heal him again. During battle, I'd rather not, so I think we're all good. We got Magikarp and Daggett coming out. Whatever. I want Magikarp leveled up. We're the strongest in our class. We can one-shot this trainer, can't we, Liz? All right. I seem, Seems unfair, two people versus one, but I do. I get to use two Pokemon, so... I guess it's more about the Pokemon rather than the amount of people. If I only got one Pokemon, that'd be a scam, but we're not scammed right now. Who's even fighting? It's got to be... No, it's Magikarp. Let's get rid of Magikarp. Who do we want? We haven't seen Chimtini in a little... Chimtini, people are catching up to Chimtini because of how the XP share and stuff works. We still got Daggett out. Oh, I guess I can keep Daggett out. We'll just do Rollout. I don't know if it's any good, but we are that's what we're doing. I guess we'll find out. I don't. I have no clue what type of Pokemon that I'm fighting is. I have no clue. I would say, like, normal or, like... Those are some normal moves right there. Uh, do they look normal or fairy? 
I don't know if we would see fairy stuff like this. That was a crit hit? Oh, no. That might not be the best. Oh, uh, let's go ahead. Power up. Maybe, yeah, we can try to power a punch. Punch him right in the face. See if this does anything. Bam. Didn't really do a whole lot, but... Oh, Growl hits both of us? That sucks. That, like, negates the buff I just got. Come on. I just buffed that. Another Growl? Come on, double Growl? Really? I'm gonna be doing no, no physical damage. That's fine. Chim Chimtini has fire, so... Daggett, on the other hand, I don't know if Daggett has any... No, Daggett's, Daggett's having a rough time. That's fine. We'll just, uh... Do another power punch. That'll probably kill it, right? Maybe. We're lucky. Good. Perfect. Now Dagger gets to use his shitty rollout on the other one. That does, like, no damage, because his attack has been lowered two times, so... Three level-ups? Holy crap. Chintini with the level-up? Daggett and Magikarp with the level-up? Who's trying to learn Fury Swipes? Chimtini? I don't know if I really... Well, Fury Swipes is, like, better scratch, right? Well, 18 power, two to five times. You would have to get, like, three Fury Swipes off, and then you would get it. And it's, like, an 80% chance, so it's, like... I don't know. We'll get rid of scratch. Why not? On average, it might be a little better than Scratch. But if you get, like, three off, then you're good to go. If you only get two off, though, I don't know. I feel like you have a better chance to get three, four, and five. Magikarp levels up. I'm too busy talking to myself about stuff that doesn't matter. Avoided the attack? Negative two for Daggett. Daggett sucks. Daggett is terrible. Daggett is really having a hard time. What is rollout's accuracy? 90? D no, Daggett's just losing points for this. In fact, I'm so disgusted with Daggett, we're bringing out Krikatu. I don't know what's going on with Daggett. I might have to release him. Daggett is str he's struggling. I don't even care if I don't get an attack. I'm sick of seeing Daggett on the field. So Daggett gets to leave. Hey, there you go. I got three already. Four? Hey, look, it's way better. Oh, I got all five of them off. That was way better than trying to use Scratch. Okay, let's do it again. Of course, it uses quick attack because it's quick and stupid. So he gets to attack first, and now it's dead. Man, being fast sure was good, wasn't it? So fast, you're dead now. XP points, no one levels up. That's fine. The twins are done. Oh, oh, oh? Okay. Oh, but wait. Uh, no, you lost. Thanks for the $1,100, you idiots. I wish I could be strong like you when I get bigger. Well, keep training. Oh, that is so bad. <laughs> Just, like, not happy. Oh, we can't we can't cut this. Oh, well. Keep moving on. What's over here? Hey, there's an item over here. What is it? Bullet Seed. I think I could teach that to... Cricketune? Maybe. There might, there might be a better... No, nobody can learn Bullet Seed, actually. Chimtini can learn Rock Tomb? It's like the only one that can learn that. We got Flash. Flash will probably be useful at some point. Let's we'll hold on to this. What kind of Pokemon are in, are in this area? Probably more Beedus and shit, right? Oh, it's a Badoo. That's... That's Banu, right? It's Banu is Banu. That's for sure. <laughs> hey, should I just like... I'm not even going to try to fight this thing. Let's just hit it with the old frag out. This thing's really small. It's like barely bigger than the ball, right? So it should just like get caught. Right? Yeah, I, I don't even need to fight anything. For at least a majority of the early Pokemon, you can apparently just throw a ball at it and it will catch it, like, the majority of the time. Onyx was the exception, but Onyx is giant, so. Over the winter, it closes its bud and endures the cold. In spring, the bud opens and releases pollen. All right. Uh, sure. Let's give it a nickname. Let's give it that great nickname I just gave it. 
Instead of Badoo, it's... Hold on. Confused myself there. We got Banu. I'm pretty sure that's how you spell it. Yeah, Badoo. B-U-D-E-W. B-U-N-E-W. We got Badoo is Banu. Perfect. Where do you want to send Banu? To the Babox. See you later. You're not in my party. I don't want some random flower. Like some random sentient seed in my party. Whatever the hell this is. It's like a little seed. It probably evolves into a flower. It would be my guess. Some sort of flower or bigger plant. That is my educated guess. I want to say I'm pretty confident that I'd be right, but I also it's just an it's just an educated guess, you know. Can I run into some when I don't want to run into something, I don't run into anything. Or I'm sorry, when I don't want to run into something, I run into stuff like every two patches of grass. When I run, when I want to run into something, I have to run around like ten laps to get it to come out. So far, just three badoos. I'm about to believe. Actually, believe is an actual word, so that's kind of confusing. To anyone who doesn't know the pun, or may not be super fluent in English, that is probably confusing. We're kind of close to Eterna City, but it's it's still quite far away. You should be prepared for a long journey. All right, should probably buy stuff at the Pokemon. I had a battle the other day, my Pokemon's HP got low. I thought we were done for, but then all of a sudden my Pokemon ate the berry it was holding. Whew, glad I gave it that berry. Let's go ahead and heal. I know people need heals. I know we need our PP to be restored. We've got empty PP. Normally that might be a good thing. In this game, it is a bad thing for your Pokemon. What's downstairs? Downstairs is finally open. I'm probably not going to do anything down here. Oh, hello, right this way, please. This is probably like training or, or not training, like trading and battling Pokemon Global Club. If you have a paid Nintendo Switch Online membership, you can use the internet to connect with trainers all over the world. Cool, you can enter the union room anytime by pressing the Y button. Note there are some places such as inside buildings where you can't use it. Would you like to hear a more detailed explanation? No. I'm probably not going to do anything with this, but... Welcome to the Union Room. Would you like to enter? So we can enter? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna enter and see what this is. Will now connect to the internet? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I still have Nintendo Online. I'm not exactly sure, but... Oh, actually, I don't. Never mind. Alright, well, we're definitely not doing this. Mine must have expired somewhat recently. And uh, I don't really have many good reasons to have Nintendo online, so I'm just not gonna get it, I guess. <laughs> oh well, I like I like barely play my Switch. I play it once in a blue moon, and I don't play anything online, so some kinds of Pokemon only appear only if they're attracted by the sweet scent of honey. Some honey. Pokemon must have an acute sense of smell. They can sense the aroma of honey from very far away. Apparently all of them can smell honey from very far away. Interesting. This, this is, oh wait, there's berries out here. It's like berry trees. Two Chesto berries, hell yeah. Do I get to replant berries? What's this? Pekka, Pecha? Who knows? Would you like to plant a berry? Sure, we'll plant a berry. Let's plant Chesto berry. Let's plant another berry in the other spot. Even though I'm probably never going to come back and pick these, why not? Flor Flo Aroma? Meadow ahead. Okay, I hope it's Flo Aroma. I almost said Flo... I almost said something completely different. Flo Aroma? Flower? I don't know. If I dress up and go to the TV station in Jubilee City with my Pokemon, can everyone in the region see my Pokemon? Which wants to be seen by everybody. You can't buy berries or ribbons at Pokemarts. It's fine. I'll make do. Do you have repels? Apparently, you still do not have repels. Oh, here we go. Okay, so let's get a couple escape ropes just to be prepared. Let's get some repels for when I'm super annoyed and don't want to deal with running into battles over and over. Five should be okay to start. Might be a little low, but still doing okay on balls. I don't care about any of that stuff. We do got super potions. For now, I should I should probably buy like a couple just in just in case. Buy a handful of those. We only have one awakening. Let's get a couple more of those just in case. Burn heal probably be good to have. Sure. Let's be prepared. 
They told that they told us it was a long journey to the next town. So maybe we should be prepared. Anything else? No, I'm out of here. Wait, actually, I do have something to sell. I do have like that bag of sand or whatever that yeah, the stardust. Thousand poke bucks, sure, whatever. Got a little money. Good stuff. Welcome to Flow Roma, the town of flowers. Flowers and more flowers. You should plant some flowers of your own too. Yay for flowers. I planted some berries. Does that count or no? I don't think that counts. Who are these two? Do you know about Gracidia flowers? They're given as bouquets to express feelings of gratitude. It's an enduring tradition around these parts. Okay, who are these two? Why, hello there. It looks like you've played Let's Go in Kanto before. Would you like to go on an adventure in Sinnoh with this Pokemon? I, uh, we got a Mew, okay? Here's a Mew. Free Mew, just two old people standing in some flowers, you get a Mew. All right, well, when I was a kid, I played Pokemon Red and Blue, and a rumor a very long time ago, probably like, I don't know, 15, 20 years or so, was that if you got Surf and Strength before you went on the SS Anne or whatever that ship was called, you could Surf by the boat, go to a random island, there's a truck on the island, you move the truck with Strength, and under the truck is Mew. However, that rumor was not true as far as I know. There is an island with a truck, but it doesn't do anything. I don't know what it was for. I'm pretty sure some of this stuff is right. So we'll call it Truck Mew. This is the rumored Mew from Pokemon Red and Blue from like 20 years ago. Well, actually, that game came out like 25 years ago. But I don't know exactly when the rumor started. I remember knowing it when I was a kid for some reason. I don't know when this rumor popped up. At some point, I know there was a rumor. So I'm calling it Truck Mew. We're sending it to the box. I don't even know. Do I even? Would I even want to use Mew? Like... Like, it is a free Mew, but I'm sure it will be a good partner to you. I guess I could try to, like, level it up. Oh, you there. And I gather you've seen a Wishing Star before. Would you mind taking this Pokemon? I think it would be perfect for you. So they just sit here and give you, like, strong-ass fucking Pokemon? Jirachi? I have no clue who this is. I'm gonna have... I, I have no clue who this is. D d new Mew? I don't know who this is. No, I don't know. I don't know who any of these Pokemon are. Well, I know who Mew is, but... I wish you and this Pokemon the grandest of adventures together. Okay. Please take very good care of Mew. Take good care of... Okay. Did I get any Pokedex entries for them? There's like... There's like no way I'm gonna... Okay, interesting. Well, let me go. Let me go check the box real quick. I might take that Mew. That Mew could be interesting to have. Though I imagine these Pokemon are gonna be like super strong. Like if they gave me a Mew, then the other Pokemon they gave me was probably also strong or like a legendary or something. I actually don't know how strong Mew is. I'm actually not sure. Can I get like a? Naive by nature, like sweet food, okay? I just want the Pokedex entry for it. Pokedex number, we don't know. Apparently. Mew comes at level 1, and Jirachi's level 5. Interesting. I, I don't know, I guess they're just... Apparently, maybe not in the Pokedex? Because they don't have a number, and I couldn't really check them. Interesting. Well, you know what? Maybe... I can have my lifelong dream of having a Mew. I don't know who I should get. I would get rid of Daggett, but I need someone for like HMs and TMs. So I don't know. I'm just gonna get rid of Daggett. Daggett's been pissing me off recently anyway, so fuck Daggett. Daggett has been irritating me. Does Mew have anything? It's not what I wanted to do. Need to remember to use the D-pad. Yeah, I don't think anyone's like holding anything. So we got good old Truck Mew, level one Truck Mew. I guess we'll see how this goes. I should probably save. That's not how you... There we go. Would you like to save your adventure? Sure. Well, that's interesting. I walked to this town and two old people gave me two Pokemon that I should probably never have, but... You know, when I was a kid, I, I wanted a Mew really bad. 
and I tried my best to get one. I think one of the only ways to get it in NA was to go to, like, an event that Nintendo was having or, like, to a mall. Like, I don't know exactly what it was, but you had to go to, like, an event, and then they had to kind of give you one at the event. And I was really hoping that the truck, the truck rumor was true, but it just was not, so... Now I got a Mew. I just had I just had to wait like 25 years and find two old people standing in flowers to get a Mew. Do you think it's cute how Pokemon pluck berries? Oh yeah, it's the cutest thing ever, sure. Yes, you agreed. Here are some TMs for the move pluck. Oh hey. I have no clue what pluck does, but we got it. When a Pokemon uses pluck, it eats a berry held by its opponent in battle. Oh, okay. I like how it steals a berry. It's so cute. It's kind of rude, stealing food from other people? We talk to this kid? Some Team Galactic... Oh, the Team Galactic's here. Uh-oh. Those Galactic guys went to the meadow past these flowers here. And we got more berries. I'm gonna take these berries and I'm not going to replant them. Fuck the environment. Fuck any Pokemon that were relying on these berries. They're mine now and they're gone. Pick a peck of colors, flower shop, free berries available. Oh, I already got some. I knew they were free. They just had they just had that aura about them, you know. A single berry will grow into a plant that makes several berries. By planting one, there will be more and more berries in the world. I hope you will help us spread more berries everywhere. Well, I considered it, and then I kind of chose against it, but... Hello, would you like to exchange your berries for some stickers? Sure. I don't, I don't think I have enough berries to get any of these, so you can get some extra stickers here, which is pretty cool if you like decorating your balls I only decorated the one ball trash cans empty cool trainer please water berries using this spray duck watering can you obtained the spray duck okay use that spray duck to water the soil where you planted berries you should also water berry plants while they are growing interesting now I kind of feel bad maybe I should plant some berries here that was a sign Let's plant a bit. Let's plant the old chesto berry. Can I water it? Hell yeah. Water that bad boy. All happy. I'm assuming they grow like much faster if you water them. Let's plant a cherry berry here. You guys like watching me plant stuff? Plant and water plants? This is the game now. I'm giving up my Pokemon journey and I'm just gonna become like a gardener or something. Hopefully someone nice and rich hires me to take care of their garden at their mansion, you know? That'd be... that'd be the life. Alright, those are all watered up. Let's... there's gotta be some Team Galactic people around here, right? Uh, that is not a Team Galactic person. That looks like a Boy Scout. Who are you? I got drawn here by the sweet scent of honey. Seriously, that's... seriously, what's that? What am I, a Pokemon or something? Mmm, honey. Alright. This guy likes honey. I simply love it here. The atmosphere is so uplifting. You came to get emotionally healed too, didn't you? Oh yeah. I'm here for the spiritual healing. 100%. That's the only reason I'm here. Well, let's talk to these galactic idiots. And Aren't we Team Galactic and we're assigned here? Standing around among flowers, this doesn't seem all that cool. Hey, now, don't complain. This is a pretty decent assignment, but bug and grass type Pokemon so creep me out. I don't like being here either. Okay, so we can't do anything with them. They're just sitting here talking to each other. Interesting. Maybe maybe we'll come back to that later. Are they blocking a path? It looks like they might be blocking a path or some shit. So maybe eventually we'll go up there. I think we're done kind of checking out this town. Nice little, nice little shopping town. We got to heal. We got to shop. We got two Pokemon. We got a Mew and some other Pokemon that I have no clue what it is, but... I'm sure it's probably pretty good. Let's try to level up Mew. Help, help, trainer. Please, can you get my papa for me? He works at the Valley Windworks, but the people dressed like space aliens are mean and won't let me in. Well, we gotta help. I think we gotta help. What's going, what's this way? Oh, we got the clean energy. We came from the caves and now we're at the clean energy area. Found another potion, that's good. Stuck on everything again. Valley Windworks. 
Ecological, ecological, wind-driven energy. Okay. Probably no mucks in this grass or anything. We got, like, clean wind energy. Oh, hey. I'm not even going to try to pronounce this Pokemon's name. But I remember fighting it and killing it earlier. Anyway, Magikarp's not really going to be a whole lot of help here. Uh, Chimtini, man. I don't know, is anyone gonna be a lot of hell? Cricketoon has Absorb, so maybe a Absorb wouldn't be the worst thing to use. I'm afraid of one-hitting this thing, because I want to catch it. I should have just thrown a ball out. I'm just gonna try to throw a ball out. Why didn't I do this to begin with? Frag out! Okay, that that is definitely not getting caught. <laughs> We're gonna have to weaken this one up a little bit. Let me try not absorb first and see how much damage this does. Ah, uh, looking not bad. I might have to do another absorb or two. I'm worried that the next thing I do will, like, kill it. What is this, 50 power? That's 40 power. Also 40. You can do some 20s. I'm going to do a 20. Okay, that, that really didn't do a whole lot, did it? Sorry, we're, we're whittling it down. Just a, just a little whittling. One, one more absorb and I'll try again. I probably don't really need to do this, but whatever. The hell did it just do to me? My attack fell? I mean, that's fine. It's whatever. A couple more points of healing, like two points of healing. Wow. Let's try another ball. Right Hopefully he gets caught this time. I'm a little worried because it immediately got out of the ball the first time, but this time went well, so. Pokemon gained some XP points. Truck Mew is cruising through levels. Holy shit, Truck Mew got six levels, or five levels, actually. Cricketune's level 15, perfect. Truck Mew gets to level six. Awesome. It learned no additional moves, I guess, even though it gained, like, five levels. It stores its own fur balls that crackle with static electricity together with its favorite berries and tree hollows. What? Okay, whatever. I don't have a nickname for you, so... I don't want to add you to my party. I'm just hitting A. Mew really learned no attacks. What does this Pokemon pound reflect type? Okay, I guess we'll just keep leveling it up. Um, since I really need to level Truck Mew up even more so than Magikarp at this point, we'll probably put Truck Mew there. Oh my god, I ran... <laughs> Come on. Hey, who the hell's this? Weasel? Good old Weasel. Go, Truck Mew. Truck Mew's about to, like, I don't know. Let's just use Truck Mew. Let's see how Truck Mew does here. Bam. That's not very good. Tail whip. It's whipping that tail around. Well, I'm kind of worried because Mew is only level 6. And my defense is even lower, so Mew might get one hit here. Whatever. Mew's, uh, Mew's, Mew's a trooper. Truck Mew's a trooper. Truck Mew's been living under a truck for the past, like, 20-something years, so... That's gotta, that's gotta toughen you up somehow, right? You'd think after 25 years of living under a truck, you'd be tough, tougher in some ways, you know? Forgot to yell frag out. Let's see if it hurts me here. Oh, apparently it really hurt me there. No frag out, no catch. What if I do nothing else and just yell frag out? You think the, I don't think it'll get caught anyway, but... We'll do a little experiment here. Here we go. Frag out! I don't think it's getting caught, but... Oh, no, it was, it was even worse that time. Wow. All right. Maybe I should... Kind of committed with Truck Mew here, but Truck Mew's attack has got to be, like, super low. So I'm just going to go... Let's go with Pidgey. Pidgey Jr. here. We're going to have to get this thing into the red, apparently. Intimidate. Yeah, you're intimidated. Intimidated by my... Very muscular and strong Pidgey Jr. 
defense fell great what kind of moves do we got 40 40 apparently just 40s let's go with quick attack quick this might actually kill it this might be oh that was fucking terrible my my other pokemon i just need to use stuff that's like really low attack i guess because my pokemon they're like double the level of this stuff like the pokemon that are actually leveled up are double the level well here's another Buizel. maybe if i swap instantly and use an attack from one of the stronger pokemon it will not get one hit let's try that again without having it be at half health thankfully the game gave me another Buizel. Buizel to try it on Intimidate, cool. Intimidate seems pretty good against attack Pokemon. I think this is just like a straight up attack Pokemon. My attack fell. Hey, that's pretty good. Quick attack it. If you want to lower my attack, that's fine. Hey, that's that's pretty good. I might be able to get Cricketune out here and absorb. This thing seems pretty stubborn. It really doesn't want to get caught, so I feel like I have to get it to, like, red or close to red. Super effective absorb. You know what? Maybe we will just try a Pokeball. I'm worried again. <laughs> if I kill this thing a second time, I will consider just leaving. Please just get caught. Alright, so it didn't have to mess around with any of that crap. Buizel gets caught. Truck Mew level 8. Getting a lot of stats. 3 health, 2 attack, 2, yeah. Getting some pretty good good stats there. Buizel's data will be added. When air fills the flotation sack on its neck, the sack balloons like an inner tube. This Pokemon floats with its head out of the water. See? Oh, it's a water Pokemon? It's actually a water Pokemon? Man, I would use this instead of Magikarp, but... Once it goes, once it gets to be like a Gyarados, though, I think I, god damn it, I always do this. I think I want to just keep the Magikarp, because Magikarp evolves at like level 20, right? I think. All right, now that that disaster's over, don't you dare go into the Valley Windworks. I got orders to keep everyone out if they're not part of Team Galactic. You're giving me a look that makes me think you're going to try to get in. Okay, then you'll have to battle me for it. All right. Face the unrestricted power of my level 8 truck Mew. Uh-oh, it's Glad Meow. Basically the new Meowth. To me, at least. It doesn't look anything like Meowth, and there's always like a bunch of different cat Pokemon and stuff, but I'm actually not going to use Mew for this. Uh, let's send out Magikarp. Magikarp wants some more XP, right? Magikarp can take another hit. Perfect. And I'm done messing around. Chimtini's gonna come out and he's gonna put this fucking cat into the ground. Here we go. Let's go, Chimtini. You're gonna scratch me? You're gonna scratch me. I'm gonna punch you in the face then. Bam, how do you like that? Super effective, one hit. See you later. You scratch me in my face? Now look what happened. Truck Mew is already level 10. This, It must be because they gave me the Mew, so it's leveling up like crazy fucking fast. I guess that it probably counts as like a traded Pokemon, even though they just gave it to me. Mew learned Amnesia, I think. Pitcher Jr. grows to level 15. Magikarp level 13. Shinx gets a level up. Holy shit, the crew is leveling up. This is crazy. This guy's already done. Yeah, like, I'm really supposed to win with a Pokemon like this? 700 bucks? Alright, get the hell out of my way. I got... Oh shit, Shinx is evolving? Oh my god. I never expected this. What's Shinx evolving into? I haven't, I don't even think I've used Shinx in like, ever. It evolved into whatever this is. Luxio. Shinx is now Luxio. I'll probably continue to call it Shinx, but who knows. 
It's claws loose electricity with enough amperage to cause opponents to faint. It lives in small groups. Okay. Interesting. Isn't that just great getting owned by some kid? But you can't do a thing if I lock myself in with my works key. That's right, the other works key's not here. My cohorts in the flower patch have the only other one. Oh, thanks for telling me, you fucking idiot. What a moron. Kerchunk. Oh no, it's locked from inside. What will we do? Oh no, the game's over. Let's run around and panic. Oh wait. He told us exactly where to go to get the other key. 